and now the problem evaluate w integral over 0 to infinity 0 to infinity e power minus x square plus y square dx dy by converting to polar coordinates hence deduce the value of integral 0 to infinity e power minus x square dx so now we have to evaluate this integral by converting to polar coordinates so now the given integral integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity e power minus x square plus y square into dx dy now the given limit x 0 to limit 0 to infinity y also 0 to infinity ok so now it covers that means uh, y axis x axis it covers entire region in first quadrant because x also 0 to infinity y also 0 to infinity so it covers entire region in the first quadrant entire region in the first quadrant ok so now to convert into polar coordinate put x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and dx dy is equal to r dr d theta and now the limit for r and theta the limit for r and theta you see r it covers 0 to infinity entire region covers entire region in the first quadrant so r limit is 0 to infinity and theta limit in the first quadrant limit 0 to pi by 2 so that 0 to 90 degrees 0 to pi by 2 so limit for r 0 to infinity limit for theta 0 to pi by 2 both are constant limit now we have to integrate the given function by converting to polar coordinate so now the given integral double integral over 0 to infinity and now 0 to infinity e power minus x square plus y square into dx dy is equal to double integral r limit 0 to infinity theta limit 0 to pi by 2 e power minus x square plus y square already we know x square plus y square is r square because x is r cos theta y is r sin theta squaring adding we get r square and dx dy is r dr d theta r dr d theta and now both are constant limit so that we can separate the integral so first one uh, r limit integral 0 to infinity e power minus r square into r dr so this is the first integral second integral theta integral 0 to pi by 2 d theta only ok and now to evaluate this integral this r dr can be written as r dr can be written as d of r square because differential of r square is 2 r dr but we don't have 2 we want 2 so that multiply 2 divide 2 so for 2 missing mean put 1 by 2 outside put 1 by 2 outside so 1 by 2 multiply 2 divide 2 the 2 in build 2 of r square d of r square ok and now integration of d theta is theta with the limit 0 to pi by 2 with the limit 0 to pi by 2 and now 1 by 2 in the integration of e power minus r square dr r square, r square considered like r e power minus r dr so minus e power of minus r square with the limit 0 to infinity substituting limit here pi by 2 minus 0 so now 1 by 2 substituting upper limit e power minus infinity minus e power of minus infinity minus lower limit e power 0 minus of minus plus e power 0 
into pi by 2. That means the substituting limit upper limit e power minus infinity minus e power of minus infinity minus minus of minus plus e power 0. e power 0 1 e power minus infinity is 0. So now 1 by 2 into 0 plus 1 into pi by 2. So the answer is pi by 4. 2 into 2 4. So this is the answer of the problem. So the and now deduction part. So already we found, just now we found the integral value is pi by 4. So for the deduction, I am going to separate the e power function. So now the e power function e 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity, this e power minus x square plus y square can be written as e power minus x square into e power minus y square into dx dy is equal to pi by 4. But here, this two integral can be separated by x and y. So, 0 to infinity e power minus x square into dx and y integral y term is 0 to infinity e power minus y square into dy which is equal to pi by 4. You see, both the integrals, same integral, only different the variables. These two variables are called dummy variables. What is dummy variable? Dummy variable means, you see, if I suppose integral 0 to 2 x square dx, what is the value of the integral? x cube by 3 with the limit 0 to 2, answer 8 by 3. Similarly, for if you put y, integral 0 to 2 y square dy, this is also y cube by 3 with the limit 0 to 2, 8 by 3. Both are same answer, different variable these two variables are called dummy variables. So here also dummy variables, x and y are dummy variable. For that we can put x is equal to y is equal to t. So now integral 0 to infinity e power minus t square dt. Here also integral 0 to infinity e power minus t square dt equal to pi by 4. Both are same. So this can be written as integral 0 to infinity e power minus t square dt whole power 2 square both are same equal to pi by 4. Take square here. So now integral 0 to infinity e power minus t square dt is equal to root of pi by 4 because the square can take in here power root 2, root of value. So now this is the value but again t is a dummy variable so changing x for the direction. So for direction is infinity e power minus x square into dx is equal to root pi by 2. So this is the answer of the problem.